Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Loins with me, Get Dave. So we're sneaking into the castle to rescue Uvalia in the long run. Cogs and gulls. No hint of Lionel's griffins. <gasps> Delita. Surprised to see each other. What brings you to Archelaus? We have ears in many places. Few things escape our hearing. Who's we? Our. I say this for your sake, Ramza. Return to Egros. Delve no deeper into matters of royal maidens, or those of sacred stones. What have these ears of yours been telling you? You think to save a princess from a burning tower. In truth, you would but set her on a higher floor. There is only one person who can truly save her. And that is what I mean to do. Just what do you imply? It's simple, really. Noble endeavors do not always reach the end that we desire. In the you original, he says, the, the best methods don't always produce the best However results. Hard you endeavor to save her. You would do well to remember that. What then is your end in all of this, Delita? I fear I do not know. The Duke's Larg and Goltana, your brothers and all the rest. They are all of them swept up in a mighty current. A current they cannot see or feel. I simply swim against it. Nothing more. We'll meet again, I should hope. So I can keep offering you ominous threats. Conveniently, this city has some of the best selections of everything you could ever want. For all sorts of classes we haven't unlocked yet. Like bards. Uh, it'll be a while before we get to them. Mystics can use this, but really it's more of an arithmetician weapon. Yeah, they've got it all, folks. Except normal swords. A little lacking on those. Um, we may have to do some shopping here as well, because green berets are just too good to pass up. We lose a magic point but gain a speed, and that's... that's a big deal. On the other hand, Ramza can... no, his magic power is pretty strong on its own. We're going for it. Uh, on a thief, since he's using a dagger, it's a bit less of a one-sided trade-off. Technically, 7 and 7 is slightly better for damage, um, but you get more turns this way, so it's definitely worth doing. Uh, Oracle, no, no question. And for our last, I think I'm probably gonna swap Mustadio into the rotation. He can use a gun and stuff. He lost like a bunch of the equipment I got for him and everything, but that's okay. Aside from that, wizard's clothing... It's okay, but... I'm not gonna fret too hard about it. I mean, I guess for the price increase it's worth it. We'll get a couple. That should be good. And I've spent basically all of our money again, but that's alright. Rams is the one who I'm probably not gonna switch around. Well, eventually we'll get something really good to equip um, the... It used to be like the judo outfit. For your basic armor, it increases your strength by two. And that's one that you could probably take all the way to the end of the game if you were so inclined. Alright. 
enough shopping. I think in we go. Okay, maybe not. Well, Ramza called it. <laughs> nice. A little bit of a threat. Of Ludovic. He seems like a nasty sycophant. Cardinal Delacroix is a bit of a bad guy. And this is an interesting mission. I'm excited to show. It says first squad, I believe there's two. We're gonna separate Ramza and get Daved. Whoops. Get Daved can operate a bit better on his own. Uh, just because he has attack and healing. Rams has got the offense, and my caliber is there to basically be a bit of an off tank. So they mentioned Ovalia escape, or they were holding her captive, but they couldn't hold Agrius in. cool of him to just see that she's in trouble and be like, protect her. No conversation, he just instantly goes, knows what's going on. Alright, decision making time. Uh, we have to save Agrius. So, what better way to do that than giving them someone else to shoot at? We don't have Steel Heart, which is a ranged, except ranged attack. But uh, that's okay. Now, because Mustadio switched from being a guest to being a party character, he did, yeah, basically get completely respect, so they've changed all of his things. Well, I might as well go for it. There we are. His arm shot and leg shot stuff is pretty nice in conjunction with um, a gun, because guns have 100% base accuracy, so no inaccuracy is introduced through equipment or the enemy target's evasion stats. Well, hold on a minute here. Yeah, I'm gonna haste Ramza. And then end his turn right now. Um, 
By moving in my caliber, I've incentivized attacking Agrius with the Black Mage anyway. I wonder if we can do anything about that. Stahl, I believe, resets their CT gauge, which would be oh, great. Quite helpful. Okay. Uh, this would still execute before anything else. I think we're just gonna have to shoot him with a gun. Hey, I was more than welcome. Unfortunately, one and one won't be enough to kill him. We're here to help you. Yeah, figures. you have it, everybody. Agrius is one of the breadcrumbs to tell us about that. Run? Nah. Uh. And we did not get the random kill associated with that. I don't know what the odds are. It seems high when the enemy uses it against me. Eh, that's fine. The good news is we've presented enough of a threat to try to draw some of the heat off of Agrius. He's probably gonna go for the zap on Agrius and the thief, but that's okay. No! How exciting! That one's super surprising to me. Also, no auto potion. Okay, let's see if we can finish this guy. Of course. Of course. That's too much damage to just ignore. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't think she's at risk to walk into it. Okay, he's gonna shoot, get Dave in the back if we go for that. We should be able to get him this way though. Probably should have gone for a more powerful attack there. I should have flared him, is what I should have done. Oh, I was hoping to take out that other black mage, but I may have to settle for this one. For the weakling. That probably hits Agrius. No character evade stat, and we get the benefit of putting pressure on the archer as well. Judgment Blade? 
She may not have it. There we are. Okay, I think we actually stand a good chance to make quite short work of these guys. It'd be kind of cool if I could steal her weapon right now. Oh, can't target anything because of the height difference. I guess we'll just have to hit damage. Everyone's okay. And plus one. That might take out our mediator, but that's alright. Nope. Alright, good. Two might as well pump up the jam. Wow, there must be an incompatibility there. Having a nice faith stat has its benefits. Agrius will charge before him though. Enemies usually go before your characters, but not before guests. So we'll leave it to Agrius to finish him off. At the last minute I realized he could have missed that attack. That's a crappy result anyway, so might as well try stealing his stuff. If we were to put Concentrate instead of gained our JP boost on Y Caliber. Hmm. I'll just raise someone's brave. Uh, it would improve his steal odds, and maybe that's a better idea. Kind of depends how often you're planning on stealing. So this one puts Death Sentence on, but it does slightly more damage, so that's all we needed. Galgalata Gallows. It's good to know that even an execution site, they love alliteration. Huzzah! And no longer a guest. We've got one of the best characters in the game. All right, too clearly not a trap. Oh, this is possibly a dark chocobo, or a black chocobo, because um, of the darker egg. But not always. Let's just see. Nope. No JP bo boost for us quite yet. She does have some pretty good moves to start off, though. Hallowed Bolt you haven't seen yet, but is possibly the most useful. It's got pretty good range and can hit... It hits in sort of the standard, like, bolt pattern, where it's five tiles and the closest approximation of a circle the game can do. Quite high damage. And it's got good height tolerance. So, it's pretty nice. 
Anyway, we'll worry about that later. She can't learn anything useful quite yet. Mustadio is close to learning JP boost. It's something he had before, but not once he rejoined us as a full-timer. And I'll see you all in the next episode.